My friends got yachts that got more bathrooms than your mom's house. You ready to get started? <laughs> The devil checks you in the morning, so you know, the devil check me, check you every morning. But I'm on the phone at 7, so he's like, let me go down the, the hallway. He'll be back. You know, so 7.30, he comes back, and I'm still on the phone. 8 o'clock, he comes back, I'm still on the phone. He's like, forget this dude is serious about his goals. Let me go up to the street, the person that's reading the newspaper complaining about their stuff too. Putting them in is nothing. Right. But well, like, doing. like Eric G says, it's, it's when, it's, it's working with him the day that starts. The next day is when it starts. Right. You know, the job starts. When you sign them up, right? And uh, he's like, "Fuck, just, just not getting into that mindset where I sign you up, I gotta go back into your living room right now, <laughs> right now, ASAP. Don't ever want to be the biggest fish in my pond. Exactly. Ever. I, want, I mean, you just hanging out with Mike just for half a day. It's like Mike hasn't thought about money or bank accounts or like anything at all, even close for three years. I mean, like it's crazy. Yeah. So when you think of Kobe Bryant, what you think of? It's the basketball. So when you think of LeBron James, you think of basketball. Peyton Manning, football. You think of Will Smith, acting. Denzel, acting. Floyd, boxing. So when you think of, when they think of you, what do they think? There's really so many people that got it. That, that can't do it. People know their name now. I never let the hype get to me. Never. Never. You can't. Right. Because obviously if you're making more money, you can help more people. You can help. You can help your mom more. You can help your family more. You can help. I don't know if you got kids. An employee mindset. Nine to five mindset. And yeah, an employee mindset in an entrepreneurial world. Right. That's. That's him. <laughs> What's this? What episode is this? This, this, this shit just coming out from the heart. But I wish it was physical, because a lot of the reasons why people get stuck is. I feel like for a lot of people, if they were sitting right here and they looked out right there, they would see a mountain. But if they actually walked up to the mountain, they put their hand through it, they could realize that it was just a light from up top putting a fake mountain. An obstacle that you created just from the imagination of you scared of what it is. Mm -hmm. You're never going to get to the other side. So the Darren Walker that it took to get to IMD is not the Darren Walker that's going to take to get to double IMD, and I, that's why I love this business. You can't be complacent. I know everything that I want is gonna happen. Right. For a fact, you know, uh, fucking private jets and everything. Like, I'm telling you where I'm, where I'm going with this. They was looking at me like I was crazy. I was, I was bugging out, I was insane. I feel you. And I shut my brain off and I was like, yo, this is it. Like, you can't tell me it's not. And they were signing, they were signing because of that shit, man. And then now it's like, it helps because of my lifestyle. Day in the life. Mm -hmm. I think it's a great idea. I, I grew up, I grew up going on this FDR, seeing this sign over there. This is why I don't think I could leave, Pay When you just look, look at the, it. We got the best skyline. We got the best city in the world, bro. We got the best city in the world. I mean, when you look at it. on the growth of your business. If you're not getting one person out of 50 people, then come on, go back to the drum bar. Learn what you gotta do. Maybe maybe you're inviting them wrong. Maybe you're opening up wrong. Maybe you're not even showing the presentation. Maybe you're talking too much. Maybe, you know, maybe you don't even ask to buy when it's time to buy. Ready to get started? Ready to do this? And then you shut up. That's it. Shut up. It doesn't get easier. You just get better. Stay consistent. You can get better at anything. No matter what it is. So if you want to get the IMB, all you got to do is stay consistent enough on what you're doing. You're going to get there. Just don't quit. Don't slow down. Don't take one day as a break. You, there's no breaks. If you're not where you want to be in life, there's no breaks. If you really want to get there, there's no breaks. Period. What makes
makes you think you need passion to get involved? Like, how, you know how many people got passions and they got involved with this? Maybe this can help you with your passion. Yeah, like, true. you gotta learn how to ask the right questions. You can't tell me you don't like this. Everybody in this room loves what they just saw. But what keeps you back is fear. What keeps you back fear. is fear. Fear is number one. Yeah, that's it. It keeps you back is fear of not knowing anything. And it's sad that you don't even give yourself, you don't open yourself up enough for you can even ask the right questions. The right question is, when I first got in, the right question is, how can this help me with boxing? Exactly. Because at the time, my life was boxing. At the time mm -hmm. that I loved boxing. So the right question to be is, I love it, I like it. Of course I like to travel, of course I can make money, but my passion is boxing. I didn't have to ask that question. I already seen how it can help me with my boxing. Then I think, so you mean to tell me I get involved with this thing, I can build up a network, because what do we need? And anything you need network. in life, you need a network. Of course. And anything you need in life and knife and network, what else you, do you need? Income, you need capital, and whatever you need to do. So the way I thought about it, I was like, all right, maybe, you know, maybe I can get involved with this game. Maybe I can get involved with this game, build it up to the point where the money's working for me instead of me working for money, right? And I can get back into the gym and do it because I love it, not because I need it. I can make the decision. And now because I build a business that's worldwide, I know people in South Africa, in Europe, in Asia, and you know, all over the US. Imagine that happened to my comeback fight if I was to fight in the Barclays Center. Crazy. I've been out the game for so long. Tickets are going to sell, and it'll it'll, it'll, it'll sell, sell out. out. Definitely, it'll sell out in the arena. It's with, a, with networking, <laughs> because of the company. Exactly. So I sit back and I tell, and I and I and I, and I sit there and I and I listen to people talk, and I go, yo, you don't know how dumb you sound. Like it's crazy how much blessing you cut all out of your life because you're so ignorant. <laughs> Wait till you see the Miami joint. Oh man. Oh. Alright, cool, we can start now. Oh, what the guy? What the guy? Congratulations, big man. I see you. Because his existence, over 160,000 have come after. You don't know 160,000 people, you understand that? No. How do you do that? He'll teach us how. Mm -hmm. Humble enough to have him in his room, he's an IMD in the company, meaning he's at the top level of the company. Without further, wait! He bought Tina Turner's old house. No! <laughs> so from, do you want dessert with that? So, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. sign for that. Hey, mm -hmm. I like that. Without further ado, Mr. Mario Roa. Well, we're going to make very good use of the next six or seven hours together. <laughs> <laughs> We go to Guatemala, we build schools in Guatemala. Okay, we've actually, to date, as a company, in the last four years, built over 82 schools in Guatemala. It's huge. I travel around the world and get paid to share it with other people. It's awesome. We want you to share your story. Keys open door. As a team as a whole, 80,000 people in New York City, they said this is never crack because people are too skeptical. I guess they were showing the wrong ones. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
he did a real fun presentation. Is waiting tables harder? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is pulling a hand truck in the damn snow harder? Uh, yeah. Going out to deliver packages in that rain? Is it harder? This is a common sense business, and that's what I mean that common sense is not too common. You ever went jogging, stopped, and try to, and try to jog five minutes after? Mm -hmm. They say, never stop. If you're going to finish the run, finish the run. As soon as you stop, it's so hard to start again. Mm -hmm. That's what a lot of people do. You've got to make a decision. It's scary, okay? It's a little hard. When you use that fight, it's a little scary. It's a little hard. Yeah. See, here's the thing. When you make the decision and you go this way, you don't, you don't stop and turn around. You just go and shoot arrows at you. That's what they do. That's the part that hurts. Yeah. And sometimes it's your sister, it's your family member, it's yeah. your best friend, it's your dad, it's whomever it is. They shoot arrows at you, but let them hit you in the back. Don't let them hit you in the heart. Once you make the decision, it also changes the way you present it. It changes the way you invite it. It changes the way you close. You don't have the guts to say to somebody, are you in or are you out? You don't have the guts to challenge somebody. This business puts you face to face with you. And that is scary. The reason why he or even I can paint visions when we speak is because we really mean it. Don't say it because I just said it. When I say 10, 20,000 people, I mean that. Like, I mean that. Because that's my life. You guys are getting a boot camp number two. <laughs> they can't be the one in the circle doing the best. You've got to keep yourself around other people. So, you know, I'm grateful for, for, for being here. I'm grateful for having him as a friend. Grateful for him even doing this for, for us. You know, because yes. I'm learning I'm learning as, as well. You know, sit here, mannerisms, everything. I'm learning. And if you ever go to a restaurant with him, he got that lingo. <laughs> <laughs> Like he knows certain things. Just let me get a, uh, let me get this. Uh, the name of the drink: Shake, not stirred. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I'd be like, let me get Henny on Craig. I heard him say that. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> say hey, shake my shit. Too. <laughs> don't take him for granted. I know you don't. But don't take him for granted. They say you never profit in your own land. Man, the things he's been saying, the way he's been saying them, mm -hmm. it's brilliant. It's brilliant. So I can't wait until we train together. No kidding. <laughs>